So I have here for this chemical reaction two elements that are by themselves. I have carbon here and I have the phosphorus all the way at the end. So these two I will take a look at last to balance them at last as I can. Um, aside from there, it doesn't really matter where I start. I'm going to start here with the cal calcium because it's first. I have three on the left. So I'm going to put a three in front here to now have the calciums balanced. I then have the silicon. The silicon, there's going to be three on the right, and there's going to, I, I have only one on the left, so I'm going to put a three in front of that silicon. And as far as what I have going so far, the calcium and silicon is balanced. I'm going to take a look at oxygen next. On the left, I have a eight coming from here on the phosphate portion. And then I have six coming from here, so that's a total of 14. And I have nine coming from this, and only one coming from here. So I, I have a total of 10. Now if I put instead a five in front of this oxygen, the nine from this compound, the calcium silicate, will combine with the 5 to be 14 oxygen that I now have on the right. I see now I only have the carbon and phosphorus last to balance, and the phosphorus here, there's going to be only 2, whereas here this has 4 on the right. So I'm going to multiply everything that I've written so far doubled. So I need a 2 here, this 3 will change into a 6. This 3 will also change into a 6, keeping things balanced. This 5 will change to a 10. And now my phosphorus is all already balanced. I, I have a total of 4 from the left and 4 on the right. All I need to balance is the carbon, which I have 10 on the right, so I just need a 10 right there. I check to make sure that I can't reduce it. Um, there's a 1 in front of this phosphorus, so it can't be reduced overall at all. And I have it there balanced.